Um, hey guys, Bob here from uh, Bob's Drone Flights and Adventures. Okay, so you guys have seen some of my videos where I do the orbiting with the motion controller, the goggles too, um, with head tracking on, and some have asked for a more detailed tutorial on how I do it. So I don't know if this is the right answer or the perfect way to do it, but this is how I do it. And I'm gonna try to share with you multiple screens in the video showing you the, the perspective from the drone itself, a video of me and my hand moving, the head moving. And I'm also gonna add like a voiceover where I talk about what I'm looking at in the screen when I'm flying. And hopefully this helps you guys out and helps you with your orbits. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna use this tree behind me to, to I'm gonna show you these maneuvers with a tree. I encourage you find something like a tree like this, something simple to practice your orbits on. So the first thing is, got head tracking on at the top of the meter. That is gonna show where I'm looking. You see that arrow at the top? The circle is where the motion controller is going. So as I approach this tree, I'm gonna do a left orbit. And as I come in, I start looking left right at the tree. Then I start the bank. So I keep looking at the tree. I'm, I'm looking hard. I'm banking left. I'm looking hard right at that tree. I'm not looking at the centers of the screen, the view. I'm looking at that tree and then kind of banking left with my arm, with my hand, right? Now, and that's it. Uh, you gotta practice it, but it's it's that simple. Now, what you can do with this is you can do some different cool things. You can go up, right? And you could do a downward spiral. So as I come to the tree, instead of, like I'm looking left, but now I'm gonna bank down and left. And see how I'm doing this? And as I'm going down, I'm getting lower and lower and lower and lower and lower, boom. So the only difference there is you're looking a little more down left and you're turning left and down. Now the same thing can be done going up. So as I come in, here I come, here's the approach. I look left, I come around. Now let's say I wanna go up. I start bringing the, uh, the controller up and there. Now I've got an upward spiral going, an up, upward uh, orbit, right? So let's do the truck here. I'll come, I'll come back, well, let's do the tree again. So again, let's go to the right side. I'm coming in, as I'm getting close to the object, I look right and I start the bank right, and I just keep going around, looking right, adjust my throttle, adjust the angle, and that's all there is to it. You wanna go up, spiral, I go up, keep it going. Let's say I wanna change direction. I'm gonna look down left, and I'm gonna come around that way. So I'm coming left, looking left, look at that top meter, banking, 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 adjusting throttle, boom. Okay, so that is basically it. Find an object, lead in with your head first, then make the turn. It's almost like the hand is behind the head, turning, right? The next thing cool you can do is create a sense of up and down motion. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you're gonna go straight at the object, right? Straight at it, and as you're going, kind of look down a little bit, and then look up and then down. So it, that's gonna help you get that uh, sense of rising and falling that is harder to get with the motion control. Let me do that again. All right, here we go. We come around, I'm coming in low, I'm looking kind of down a little bit, right? And as I start to go up, I lift my head up and then I look down. If you add a turn in with that, it even gives it a more of a sense of dropping. So again, up, and then you bank down left, and it gives you that sense of falling, right? Um, so that's another trick you can do with the Avada motion controller. I got the motion controller two. You can do with the motion controller one. You do need the head tracking feature of the goggles two to create that sense of motion. So let's just go over and look at it real quick. I'll just demonstrate it. And the other cool thing is you can get low with the motion controller and do these orbits. Get down low, like this. You see on my head, I'm coming around. You can really get in there tight, nice and smooth. This is what I love about the motion controllers. You can just, it's just, you can get low and smooth, baby. Just like that. All right, let's bake it around. And when you're, when you're doing these orbits, do subtle movements, think smooth, right? Again, I'm looking at the tree, back around, here it comes. 
I'm looking at the tree, looking at the tree. Woo! Just like that. I'm coming in here, up. Now watch this, I'll bring it back around with the head. All with that movement. Incorporate that head in, lead with the head, turn with the motion controller. It's that simple, guys. All right, now one thing I say to you guys, when you're doing motion uh, head tracking, when you bring it in, turn off that head tracking. It makes it a lot easier with the drone. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Post your questions below. Um, and again, just practice. Find something like that tree and go for it. Cheers, peace. Thanks, guys, for subbing. Thanks for liking. And look forward to your comments.